All right, guys. So now that you know why GDPR is going to be good for your business, why it's a good idea to comply rather than ignore it, and what it's all about, it's time to start figuring out what data it is you're collecting. Because you might be thinking that you're really just collecting email addresses and names, but in fact, you're probably collecting a lot more information than that. Um, if you use Google Analytics, you're collecting data on location where people are based, whether they're using a mobile device or a desktop, um, sometimes even what browser they're using. So there's other information being collected. If you're using a Facebook pixel to help you do ads, you're collecting information that way as well. If you have a contact form on your site, then that's another way you're collecting information. And maybe this information is similar to what you're collecting when people join your email list. But you still need to recognize all the different places you're collecting data, what kind of data you're collecting. And then you're going to have to really evaluate, you know, am I collecting this according to one of the legal reasons of GDPR? because you need to specify why you're collecting data. So if you're not collecting, if you're collecting data for no specific reason, like maybe on your email for you're asking for a phone number, but you don't actually have any systems in place or plans to use that phone number, then you really don't need to be collecting it. So when trying to determine all the data you're collecting, it's a good place to start with looking at all the plugins you use on your site. So in WordPress, this is really easy. Um, if you use a platform like Squarespace, it's going to be a little bit different, but Squarespace is limited in the tools that it integrates with. So you'll want to look at whatever tools you're integrating with um, to see what data you may be collecting. Keeping in mind that the way you collect the data can vary, right? It can be collected through cookies or through forms on your site, and you'll need to distinguish between those things when you're writing up your privacy policy, which we'll talk about in the next video and chapter. In addition to recognizing all the data you're collecting and through what tools, you're going to need to figure out how long you're retaining that data um, and set some policies for that. So like in Google Analytics, I think the default is something like 26 months um, and it, it has you go in if you, you've probably received emails about it. If you use Google Analytics, go in and um, set that data retention policy and you'll need to include that information in the privacy policy that we're going to talk about in the next section. So with that, let's dive into figuring out all the data you're collecting and how long you're keeping it for.